Hello, I'm just going to do a quick video on um, Eastern front side uh, backhand. So I'm going to compare the one handed shot to the two handed shot. So for the two handed shot, my dominant hand on Eastern front side, my weaker hand on Eastern rear side. So it's kind of a Eastern forehand for the weaker hand. That's where the position is, and just eastern then for the dominance on the backhand. So that's just the grip position. So um, what I was going to do is uh, just to compare them. Um, for the two-handed shot, oftentimes the the racket is on edge, so the the edge of the racket is pointing straight down, and it's just the two edges are just completely even. So, by contrast, um, an open racket face is where the strings point upwards. Close, it's where it's kind of downwards. So I'm just going to have it completely, um, completely kind of uh, perpendicular to the incoming ball. Um, that's kind of the natural position, the neutral position for a two-handed shot. On the one-handed shot it tends to be more flexible, you can have it open or closed, it's, it's much more uh, maneuverable. So um, I'll try to limit that, I'll try just to use the, the flat edge for the one-handed shot. So that's what I'll do, I'll just compare that now. might have to slightly adjust the spin by a tiny bit if the ball is kind of low to hit it to scoop it up a small bit while keeping the racket even. I'm almost doing a, a, an abbreviated uh, a, a buggy whip on the backhand so I'm trying to keep keep the racket uh, completely uh, completely pointing downwards. Kind of just straight in the air on the same side of the shoulder. So I'll do the same on two-handed grip. So because the two hands kind of um, were on different uh, different angles on the handle, this side's pronated kind of palm down, this side's palm up, so it they balance out kind of an even grip. So on two-handed shot, it's it's perfectly neutral and natural to to hit it like just with the edge pointing downwards.
so I'll mix the two in so every second shot one hand so um, two handed one handed two handed one handed take some practice And now I'll return back to my first my first practice of just using the one handed on the completely perpendicular racket face orientation. Slightly best just to stick with either one handed or a two handed shot in the match to only use one. <coughs> so to only use a one handed shot throughout the match, whereas to, to keep to a two handed shot throughout the match because uh, um, the feel of the swing is slightly different, the follow through is a bit different. Um, during training though um, it might help to to compare them to relate them to each other because e each has its advantages so two handed shot is very stable very uh, consistent and um, maybe slightly less flexible but still sufficient one handed shots the opposite, very uh, easy to rotate it rapidly, easy with the wrist and um, probably better reflexes, better stretch, easier kind of backswing follow through but of course the disadvantage then is um, might be too bit, bit confusing um, and you've seen so many options to switch the angles. Whereas the second hand on it keeps it very steady, very um, keeps the spin very u u u uh, very u u u uniform. So um, if you have Eastern on this weaker hand, it's very simple. Let's go down to semi Western. On the weaker hand, it would be very um, ensure that it's top spin on it. So, um, so of course, it's possible to, to do the opposites as well to practice both of them with open racket face to open face strings up two hand shot and one handed shot or kind of a closed face top spin pointing downwards on a two handed and one handed and I suppose the advantage of that would be it would be um, um, would be getting uh, technique kind of transferring it from the one-handed shot to the two-handed grip so if you were sticking to a two-handed grip I just wanted to compare it to the one-handed grip to get some extra feel for it you could mix in with the different orientations 
the open face. That was on a two-hand shot with a felt very similar to a one-hand shot. Um, but to go the other way, to go from a two-handed shot to a one-handed shot, it's best, as I was saying, to probably keep the racket face even, pointing completely flat, pointing forwards because um, that will make your one handed shot more steady um, that's all in, in that area um, a weird trick shot you could possibly try is um, a reverse grip so a, re a reverse grip is what they use kind of in sword fighting or in dagger fighting sometimes it's where you hold the racket in the opposite way. So it's kind of the handle. Handle is downwards. So usually it's like that, but holding like this. So I, I don't think um, it's ever advisable to do this in a match, unless you wanted to show off, but um, so I'm just using a semi-western, a semi-western grip, and of course it's on the rear, the rear side of the handle for the forehand. It's actually kind of good for body shots, or if you need to do kind of low kind of volleys, but um, probably best to avoid it in a match. leave the I'm gonna stop doing the practice with that because um, it's more just for a trick shot if you could pull it off and um, one other thing I've seen people try if they're kind of relaxed just before a match in practice where they use the weaker hand and have the racket in the weaker hand and I imagine what they were trying to do 